at every company, there's two kinds of people, right? There's those that are there to collect a paycheck, uh, and those that are yes. there to advance the mission. Let's just run it. There's no over. Don't overthink it. Like no, it doesn't I, matter. I'm, like an idiot. I'm gonna ask you the question. Just live in the office. Live interview with an SDR, Chandler. What is up? How are we doing today? What are you up to? Uh, about to log off for the day. Maybe go play some basketball at a lifetime. Why did you get into tech sales? Um, I think the upward mobility is nice. Uh, the flexibility as far as location. Uh, I can work from anywhere. All I need is a laptop and a, and a headset. Um, also, too, I, I think it's really good like developing communication skills early in your career. Um, you, know, you talk to a lot of C-level execs, and if you can do that at 22, uh, I can't imagine how strong of a communicator it will be by the time you're 30, 40, etc. Can you tell the people what it's like to work with myself live each and every day in the office? Yeah, uh, Trent's a dog, as you guys know. Um, but just, just being around people at Qualtrics um, that are just really passionate about what they do and just really strong work ethic really motivates me. Um, one thing I always tell people too is that at every company there's two kinds of people, right? There's those that are there to collect a paycheck uh, and those that are yes. there to advance the mission. And I, I feel like at Qualtrics, um, Everyone's here to advance the mission. Obviously, you know, with, with the equity and the, the stock and everything, like, we all want to blow up. I want to buy a nice boat one day uh, with the stock. Let's so, yeah. go. Okay, so Chandler tells me he interviews SDRs to help get jobs at our company. What should they know for those people out there interviewing for an SDR role, an AE role? What should they know? 100%. I think a lot of huge misconception people have is that uh, you have to understand the technology and understand, be a huge like tech person to get into tech sales. You really don't. Um, they're going to teach you everything you need to know. Um, also, too, you don't have to have exactly a sales background, but I say like you can really tie in a lot of experiences in life into sales because sales is life. Um, and so I, I think just come enthusiastic, um, eager is a huge thing, like eager to learn. Uh, and then I think uh, the, the rest will take care of itself. What do you do day in the life of an SDR? Uh, I call people relentlessly until they agree to a meeting um, and send people infinite emails until they respond. And what would you say are the pros of the job and the cons? The cons of the job, um, you have to have tough skin for sure. Uh, I think a great as example is just getting told no every day really just calluses you up. Um, if you're a dude, for example, and you work in sales, like no girl can ever hurt your feelings because uh, <laughs> it's like, Sweetie, I get told no uh, 25 times a day. Uh, so that's a huge thing. Um, another con, I would say, it's a grind for sure. Like if, if you, you, know, you want to go above your number, it's definitely uh, a grind. Uh, the, the pros, uh, really good money. Like as far as, um, it, it's one of the only places you can really like triple your income uh, three years after school without selling your soul to Wall Street. Uh, so I think that's really a, a good piece of it as well. Uh, another pro of the job is uh, just just, just the calls, honestly. I think of cold calls as kind of like a slot machine. Like, you just never know what's on the Let's other go. side and what you're gonna get. Um, and so, you know, sometimes you have like some really pleasant conversations, and then you have some really unpleasant ones. But uh, if you can just kind of just shift your perspective, like the unpleasant ones kind of fire me up more. And just like, I don't know, I, I like being hung up on sometimes. It kind of just wakes me up. So the final question a lot of people are interested in, talk about your work-life balance. I think you have an interesting mix that you work from home some days, and then you come into the office like we are here. Talk about how you like to work. 100%, yeah. So, um, I, again, that's definitely a pro of this job is the flexibility to, to work from home when I want or work remotely, um, as well as having the option, not the, the duty to come in the office, right? Um, so I, myself, and a bunch of the other SDRs, we usually come in like one day a week. Um, I actually find I'm more productive at home, just because when I come in here, it just turns into like a social hour and everyone's just wanting to hang out, which I love it, don't get me wrong. And so, uh, I think I have some bad self-control sometimes about the socialization, so uh, I prefer to stay home if I want to actually get work done. But it's always good to come in and show face. And a huge thing too, like Trent really emphasizes on his channel too, is that it doesn't matter how good you are if no one knows who you are. Uh, so I right. think it's really important to come into the office occasionally and show some face. Where can the people find you at? Uh, the people can find me on LinkedIn at Chandler Barrett, um, SDR at Qualtrics, and uh, yeah. Shows Chandler some love, guys. As we like to talk about, look at all of these open desks right here. We're the last ones in the office grinding. So much opportunity out there. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button below. Comment below for the algorithm. Subscribe for more sales videos. Connect with me on LinkedIn as well. Follow me on TikTok. Bye. <laughs>